So hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar, Save Hours of Data Entry with Workhorses Integration with Affiliated Monitoring. Uh, we're thankful that we get this opportunity to talk with you today about their platform. So move on. So before we get too into the weeds here, I'd like to introduce myself and my guest host. Uh, my name is Gil Almogi, and I'm a product manager here at Affiliated. I manage our portals, apps, and APIs and various integrations. I've been with the company for over five years now. Uh, next, we have Steve Hayes, president of Workhorse. Uh, soon, Steve will be sharing everything you need to know about Workhorse and their integration with our APIs, um, which actually has been in place for a few years now. Um, Steve, feel free to say hi. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so what is this webinar about? During this webinar, you'll learn about what Workhorse is and how their integration with Affiliated can benefit your company, new features Workhorse is working on for Affiliated partners, how Workhorse can lower your overhead costs by providing alarm billing, CRM, and field service management all in one platform, Workhorse's ability to link and sync your accounts from Ajax, Alarm.com, Residio, SecureNet, and SecureCom, and why Workhorse calls itself your single point of data entry. Before we get into that, uh, for anyone who here who is not uh, familiar with affiliated monitoring, I would like to take a few minutes to talk about who we are. Uh, what you see here, uh, affiliated monitoring is the leading provider of live agent monitoring services and technology. Uh, this is not a stock photo, but an actual picture of our 80,000 square foot monitoring center in Union, New Jersey. Affiliated was started more than 45 years ago by Stanley Oppenheim, and we're now under the second generational leadership of his son, Daniel. This is a big differentiator for us because many of our competitors have ownership that is retiring or finishing the race, and they often sell or private equity is introduced. But Affiliated, you should know that we have your back and you're in the family for the next 20 to 30 years. Affiliated is fully licensed and credentialed from UL 2050 to being FDNY approved. You can see all our credentials and, and approvals here. And uh, last, I'll talk about our value pillars. As you get to know us and we get to know you, it's important that we communicate our values. And our value pillars are as follows. Partnership, uh, it's at the heart of everything we do. And we don't refer to you as our customer or a dealer, but our partner. Business productivity, our partners benefit from enhanced technology, which provides key business insights, streamlined work processes, and reduced false alarms. And we are gonna share technology today that will benefit your business and subscribers. And lastly, we have growth mindset. We share a core value with our partners to retain our customers, grow our businesses, and increase profitability. We're passionate about helping you grow your business in terms of number of subscribers and new streams of RMR. Business productivity is a key value pillar we'll be focusing on today because software like Workhorse is necessary for businesses that need to streamline their processes and continually move forward, organizing everything your company does and also setting you up for success. But growth mindset is also key here because Workhorse's integration will, double, uh, will reduce double data entry for your employees, keeping them focused on one platform for longer and which makes daily activity more scalable. What can you do with Workhorse's integration? You can create new monitoring accounts with affiliated, activate and deactivate systems, view and update account information, including zones and contacts with real-time updates from third parties, and place systems on or off test. And this is only made possible because of our suite of robust APIs. If you have a product or service that might benefit from the ability to send and receive data or even alarm signals, please reach out to us. And if you wanna learn more about uh, after the webinar, here's how you can reach out to us. Um, for affiliate monitoring, you may reach out to Bob Januario, our director of sales, his phone number 201-752-3863, or you can email him robert.januario at affiliated.com. If you scan that QR code with your phone, you'll be able to, it will link you straight to send an email. For Workhorse, uh, you can schedule a demo. I included a QR code here that you can scan with your phone. And again, this will take you straight to their scheduling page. Just make a note, there are different options based on uh, who you are or what you're trying to accomplish. So just make sure you schedule the correct one for you. 
And with that, I'll let Steve talk more about workhorses capabilities and integration. Feel free to take over. Awesome. Thanks, Gil. I appreciate it. And um, I appreciate the shout out. Uh, we Just so you know, and I think you already know, but Affiliated was the first central station that we did an integration with. So when we when we started Workforce, uh, our first dealer was a, an affiliated dealer, and uh, he's still with us today. But you guys were the first ones to, uh, to let us in. So, uh, you know, we, we appreciate the, the, the four years of partnership. And it was um, a working with you on that, too. Thank you. So uh, for those that don't know me, I am Stephen Hayes. I'm with Workforce. Uh, I've been in consumer electronics and we've building websites since, uh, you know, early 2000s. So it's one of the first consumer electronics uh, websites competing with like Best Buy and, and Amazon. Um, I owned an alarm company for 12 years in New Jersey. And uh, I, I was always having these issues, right? And the issue was I could, uh, you know, I put, I, I prospect in one software. I put my accounts in another. Actually, my accounts were at, uh, here at Affiliated. I put my uh, accounts online at Affiliated. I had to go to alarm.com or uh, alarm that didn't do my work there. I needed to go and send out an e-agreement. I needed to put it into my arm, our billing software, and it was just a real hassle. And it seemed like nobody was really putting all this stuff together, right? We were kind of the redheaded stepchildren of the trades. And, uh, you know, I decided that if somebody was going to do it, it was going to be me. So I sold off my accounts. I moved down to Florida. I hired a bunch of developers and took about a year and a half for us to develop our course. And then, you know, we've been selling for the last for the last three. Um, like Gil said, we, we say that Workhorse is your single point of data entry. We handle everything from the prospecting, your sales, your field service management, dispatching, RMR billing, uh, you know, really from, you know, cradle to grave of that uh, alarm account. Uh, you know, and what we do is we try to either we run everything ourselves or we work with partners like affiliated. Uh, to be able to utilize their APIs and use their softwares to give you a better experience. So, you know, here's just a, a quick list of, you know, stuff that we do, but I'm going to go into what I like to call a day in the life, which is going to be uh, a very quick run through of, you know, different tools that Workhorse offers. Uh, and we're going to do it live, right? So, you know, uh, this isn't going to be a long PowerPoint of me just sliding through and telling you this is what we could do. It's going to be an actual look at you know, how we do it. Um, at Affiliated, we do account creation. We can update emergency contacts. We can do on and off tests, uh, update passcodes. And we can also sync your accounts from the communication partners too. So uh, Ajax, Alarm.com, Lula, Residio, SecureNet, and SecureCom, all of that information. And actually Gil saw it before because we created an account, but we took a 57 zone system and I clicked a single button and all of the data from alarm.com got pulled right into affiliated in a couple seconds, right? Because we're, we're able to be this great connector of, you know, partners. Um, who do we integrate with for, uh, we, we don't have a full GL, I'll talk about that more later, but we have a full integration with QuickBooks Online where we will uh, do customer creation or syncing to your customers, invoices, payments, products, GL accounts, sales tax, all that stuff goes over. Uh, OPT's Oxygen, we're going to have an integration with them uh, by the end of the year. We're currently working on it, and then coming in 2024, we'll have uh, all of the all of the the accounting platforms below. So if you're not with uh, one of these two above, and you're with one of the ones below, we'll be able to integrate with your accounting systems um, next year. Uh, if you're a smaller company, right, we, we also, we partner with a company called the Alarm Assistant. So Workhorse is kind of a robust program. So if you're a man in a van with a plan, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to be in, inside a system that's pretty big like this. So what we do for that is we work with this company called the Alarm System. They're partners of ours. And all of your data gets loaded into there and they can actually do it for you. They can handle your daytime uh, inbound and outbound calls. They can do some QA for you. Uh, but they can also do your uh, central station tasks as well. So just, you know, something cool. They're, they, they're just launching right now. And like I said, live demo, because I don't think that a PowerPoint can really do it for you. So um, let me see. Let me get over here. 
And uh, just to make sure, you, Gil, you, you can see my screen, my dashboard, right? Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay, cool. So again, this is a day in the life, right? So it's just a little customer service, a little field service, a little dispatch. And uh, I'm going to also at the end, I'm going to, uh, in a couple minutes, I'm going to create an account from start to finish. So I'm going to make a sale to Gil. And, uh, you know, we're going to go the whole way through it. So, you know, one of the first things you want to see when you log in is your past due amount. This is just your aging and a way for you to look at it. And, you know, uh, you, you get to start calling and, and doing your dialing for dollars, right? So, you know, an issue that a lot of people have is they, they call up because somebody owes them. This person's probably going to owe a lot of money. And the customers always tell you something like, oh, you know, I, uh, I I thought I paid that or, you know, something similar to that, right? Like this person's past due $23,000. That's a whole lot of money. Um, you know, hopefully your past due is like $45, right? Like that, that that's more the hope is that your customers are past due for their subscription, $45 or whatever it is. And we, we have a couple different tools uh, built right into Workforce, right? So when you start calling that customer and you start saying, hey, you know, we're looking for our money, and they tell you that they never got it. Well, you can look down here and you can see a couple of things. I didn't text the message to them. I didn't mail it. This is like USPS snail mail and I didn't email it to the customer, right? So this customer is actually not lying to you. He's telling you the truth. So we come up here and we're going to email it to them. And this is going to be a real time email that gets sent. Uh, of course, I shut my phone down so I won't be able to answer it. Turn this back on. So this is a real-time email that gets sent out for you, right? So you can see, all right, well, what's the current status of it? You can see that it was delivered, right? So, hey, Steve, listen, I, you know, I, I was able to just send it. Do me a favor, go check your email box. You should be able to, you should be able to see it right now. Um, let's see if I have it over here, sorry. And all right, so I, I got the message. Now when I refresh this page, you know, you'll be able to see that I opened it, right? So again, we're we're just trying to tell the customer, like, hey, listen, I know you got it. I know you opened it. And now one step further, I know you used our click to pay. Right. So all invoices come with click to pay if you wanted to. Uh, you can turn it on, you can turn it off, but customers are able just to click on a button and make a payment. The cool thing about this is they don't need to log in, right? So they don't need to go through a portal or log in or do anything else. They can just click, make a payment and be good to go. At the same time, if you want them to log in, customers can log in. And if they log in, they can place accounts on NOCTEF. They can make payments to their bills. They can request service calls and they can see their services through too, right? So we're really, we're putting a lot of stuff right in front of you. So, you know, with that, they just get taken to a nice little page. How do you want to pay? Credit card or ECH? You know, they go ahead, they make a payment, they get a nice little thank you note. All is good in the world. Uh, you know, now you start drilling down on that. Hopefully, again, you're not past due $23,000 like this guy. But, you know, it's just a real easy way for you to be able to see that. Uh, as we look through here too, you can see a couple different modules. We run out of three major modules. They're tasks, service calls, and deals. A task is an assignable reminder. Um, you know, it could just be, hey, we're gonna meet with Steve to go over workhorse. We're not attaching it to anybody. And you're gonna attach the whole company to it. This is gonna time block them on their calendar, right? And it's gonna send them a text message. Hey, just a reminder, you have this tomorrow, today, you know, things like that. I'm setting you up for this. Or you can use it for uh, fire inspections or annual inspections or just call back and, you know, other other tasks. A big issue that we all have and we're talking about saving time is, you know, we need to swivel chair, right? We need to go to all these different software. So let's take a look at it. Let's pretend that Mr. Lowe calls in and Mr. Lowe calls in and says, hey, listen, I'm having problems. I need you to help me out. Now, you could drive right to Mr. Lowe's uh, system. Now, inside of the system, we're going to get a real good look at what's going on here, right? So I can see that it was sold. I can see contract date, start date, end date. I can see the date it was installed. 
we start looking at some other things. I can see it's live and active at affiliated, so I don't need to log into a third party for that. I can see it's live and active at alarm.com. And if we want to do things, I, I must have put this on test before, but if I want to put this on test, off of test, I can do that right through here, right? So this is real time and happening with the central station. So everything you see happens within workforce and we automatically push it you know, over to the central. If it didn't go through, we would have gotten a red X back saying, hey, this actually didn't work. You can also see a full zone list. Now this zone list is from the central. Uh, this is the 57 zones that I showed that I, that I was talking about earlier where I sent them over to Gil. If, the, if we had tested these zones, you would have seen a green check mark. But again, I just created this account earlier. You'd have a green check mark here. So if you have a, a rule that in order for your technician to get paid, they need to test in every single zone. Well, with Workhorse, you can see it right here. Red X, they didn't test it in. Green check mark, it's been tested in. Take it a step further. That, let's just pretend that this customer calls in. They're like, hey, you know, my alarm system's beeping. What's going on? Well, we're going to take a look at this and we can see, all right, well, I've got malfunctions, 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 low batteries. I've got a lot of issues with this, right? So what, what do I want to do next? You know, maybe what I want to do is, uh you know silence the trouble beeps for that customer right so i click on silence trouble beeps it uses alarm.com lula secure comms apis to reach out and silence the trouble beeps at that panel maybe you just want to do a communication test it'll ping the panel and it'll go to the central station uh or maybe you know you're just like listen uh you got a dual path error and a lot of time the way to clear a dual path error is just to do a hard reset to the device so rather than have to look at the customer in accounting to see if they're past due, if we can even run a service call for them, then go to the central station, then go to alarm.com um, or your communication provider. All of it happens right here for you, right? So, you know, we, we try to put, you know, most of your daily uh, use right here. You know, so it just, you know, we, we, we try to make it as easy as possible for you to have this greater overall view. Now, Let's just say that you do need to run a service call. You can do it a few different ways, but I'm just going to jump in here. You know, so we have this customer, as we said, Rob Lowe. There he is. And you can see he's got two houses. He's got a main house and a barn, right? And we're going to tie it to the system that's installed. And you'll have some sort of hourly and travel fee there. What are we doing? You know, many zones in malfunction. Go with extra contacts. But you really want to make this a lot of information, right? The more information there, the better, you know. And we're going to bring up some door contacts now. You'll load your products, your costs, your pricing in here. Uh, or like I said, we'll pull it in from uh, uh, QuickBooks Online. If we want to look at your scheduler and see who's available, hey, Mr. Lowe, you know what? You're in luck. I've got this technician, Aaron Rowe, who'll be able to come later on today. And he can be there between, uh, what am I saying, 2.30 and 5 p.m. today. Now, these notes are just between you and the customer. With notify uh, customer and notify technician checked off, this will uh, text message both the customer and the technician, uh, uh, you know, that this schedule, uh, that you have an appointment scheduled. All right, now, obviously, you know, you wouldn't be going from screen to screen like I'm going to do. Uh, the technician would get this on their iPad or iPhone. We're better on an iPad or a tablet than we are a phone just because we go to so many different places and get data from so many different people. But the technician would say, I'm en route to the job, which lets the customer know, hey, your technician, Aaron Rowe, is on the way. I'm at the job. This is what's going to start that time and material, right? Because this is a time and material job. You can place it on test just like I showed you before. And then, you know, you go through it, you know, the, the normal, right? Customer swapped uh, windows and they broke the contacts. See images attached. Now you can add photos here. You can add, uh, I mean, really on a service call, you're probably just adding photos, but you can, uh, I, our system allows you to upload CSVs, documents, PDFs, photos, really whatever you have, right? Because you might have a CSV that you save for every camera job or, or, or from every home automation job that you want to upload here. Now, we have spots for it in Workhorse, but you might just find it 
you know, you're, you've always done it one way, so you'll continue to do it that way. Or like if you're a Control 4 dealer, you can upload a C4i file, something like that. We have a technician checkoff form. Now, this is a static form. We built it. Uh, you'll likely see this as custom to you next year, but it's going to ask a whole bunch of questions that we want to know, right? So this is for the technician to let the office know, uh, no, I didn't install anything extra. I did run a test. I demonstrated what I did. Yes, I cleaned up after myself. Yes, I took pictures. No, I didn't use anything extra. But if they did, they could add that to the invoice now, too. Uh, no, the customer doesn't need a follow-up. Yes, they are satisfied. Now, we, we made these yes and no's, so, the, so they just don't, you know, yes, 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 right down the line. Uh, and are we back online in the service? You can add uh, notes. You can add a signature to it. Um, I say, hey, you know what? I'm done with my job. We're good to go. Let's move on with the next one. Now, if it's residential, probably the last thing I want to do, though, is I want to get this signed off on. Right? So you can see that I sold 10 door contacts, because that's what I went out with. I was there for one hour, and I had one hour labor attached to it. I click on sign and pay. Now, if this customer has a credit card on file, which it looks like this customer does, you can just select the customer. You can select it, put a little scribble scrabble there, and move on with your day. You can also add a new credit card or ACH to this as well. Uh, so that's totally up to you. Uh, now, if you're doing this and, you know, your customers in the field or your technicians in the field, there's no waiting for this. There's nothing else you needed to do. We've automatically created for you that invoice. We've automatically taken a payment on that invoice. Now, again, you don't have to take that payment like commercial or, uh, you know, small business or commercial, maybe. It gets saved for the next day. The dispatcher looks at it, and the dispatcher sends it out or something like that. Um, that. That's totally up to you. Your invoice also has all of the notes on it as well. So the customer sees, like, all right, well, it was $750, and this is why I called, and this is what the technician did, right? Yeah, I, you know what? I did swap out my windows. I was boneheaded of me not to call them first. Um, very common in the residential world. But everything always ties back to that customer. So that Rob Lowe customer is always there. If you're some, if you have a commercial and you have property management, let's just jump into that real quick. So if you have a, you know, maybe somebody changed the name of the company. Let's take a look. property management company. So if you have some sort of property management company or something like that here, you're going to be able to see not only, you know, that company at the top, but you're going to be able to see all of the sites and everything you've done for them, right? So they're worth $72,000 for you. You've done 3,900, or they're past due $3,900. That's not terrible. It's like 5%. You can see that they have nine different, maybe project managers or contacts you work with over there. You've got 20 different job sites that you do work for for them. And then you can even drive it down. Well, this this one you have access control. This one you have an alarm. This one you have a fire alarm. And, and really, really get a good sense of what's going on in each one of them. And here's all the service calls. So you can see, all right, well, this one, this one's just an open service call, but it's scheduled for November 29th of 2021. I guess that's a couple of years old now. Um, but but just a way for you to have like this big overview of this whole company, and then you drive it down, drive it down, drive it down. In some systems, it's called build to master or something like that. For us, it's just you have a company with multiple job sites. Now, if for some reason you wanted to separate the billing for that, you can do that too. Um, not a problem. Uh, let's see, we said, I, I wanna make sure that we move it along and we get to show you a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, I'm gonna sell, Gil, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell you an alarm system. If you could, do me a favor and uh, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Uh, I'm not gonna put in your cell phone number. Thank you. But is it, 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 is it just Gil at affiliatedmonitoring.com? Affiliated Gil.almogi at affiliated, uh, A-L-M-O-G-I. Uh, right, it would not go to you, I got it wrong. Yeah. I want to fix my last name on the thing too. <laughs> okay, and what what's the is it two hundred? Uh, what's what's the address of affiliated? 
Oh, Tuesday Hoover Avenue in Union. Uh, S T A H. Yep. There you go. Okay, so we use Google to make sure that we're getting the right uh, the right information for you. So I think for you guys, we're also sending over um, we're we're also sending over the uh, the coordinates for it as well. And I'm going to install it at that same address too. And then we're going to move on. Now uh, we're 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 coming out with uh, all these new pages right now. So if if anybody here comes on board, this will be changed probably as of Tuesday of next week. But we're going to ask some questions because we're going to fill out the e-agreement for you. So it's forty-five dollars a month. It's a thirty-six month contract. You know, we're selecting affiliated as the central station. Uh, now, like I said, we're integrated with Alarm.com, Alula, Residio, SecureNet, SecureCom, and Ajax. So if you wanted to, you can even get into it and select the package, select the add-on, stuff like that. And the equipment, you know, this is what you're selling the customer, right? So I'm selling the customer uh, a Residio Pro, you know, 311 kit. You know, super easy, super easy install, professional installation. Again, your pricing, your products, all that stuff is up to you. Um, if you wanted to schedule the install now, you could. Right here, we've added um, scope of work and tech notes. So that way your technician, when they go in the field, they have that. But the scope of work is really important because we're creating this uh, this really nice like uh, brochure. So you'll have your estimate will go out with about us, a photo of us, about the salesperson, scope of work, the estimate, you know, really, really the whole thing. You can also add photos and other attachments here as well. If you wanna take a deposit, you can take a deposit. You don't need to. If you want to have some sort of you know default terms and conditions, you can, or you can just leave them blank or write them as you want. You'll also have save and send estimate too, and uh, it'll go by either uh, text or email. That that's up to you. Um, I, I just don't have that uh, on on this version now. The estimates, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, they look pretty plain Jane. You know, they just are what they are today. But like I said, we're working on this, this booklet view of the estimate which will be much different for the customer. But if I want to send this to the customer, I can email it. And again, I'm going to get all that same information. Now you can come up with your own email. You can come up with headers and pictures and you know other stuff too, but they're also going to get a link uh, to that estimate where you can chat back and forth. And the salesperson is going to get a message. Hey, you've sent your estimate to Gil Emoji. Gil Emoji has opened your estimate for the first time, the second time, the third time. You know, Gil Emoji has asked you a question. Right, so our, our estimates go out. The customer can ask questions back and forth. If you were like, hey, you know what, do me a favor, send me a picture of that window. I don't remember looking at it. They can even add pictures of the uh, of the window. So the, so the salesperson and the customer have this single spot that they can chat back and forth so they can hopefully close that deal. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now because it'll log me out because it'll log me in as a customer when I do it. So I'm just going to skip over that. We also have e agreements built in. So like your your salesperson will get a message that says, congratulations, Gil's accepted your uh, your estimate. And then they have to know, all right, well, what are my next steps, right? Is the next thing that I'm supposed to do, send out a, uh, send out my e agreement is, you know, whatever, whatever the next thing you're supposed to do is. Let me uh, refresh this page. Sometimes when I'm, if you log in as the customer, it breaks uh, the instance that you're in. So it's really only a, a workhorse problem. So you can send out your agreement, whether it's a, a Kirschenbaum, a Rosenblatt, a Revness, whatever agreement you guys use. You would select it. So you'd say, select, you know, send the you know, Kirschenbaum residential all in one or commercial all in one if it's commercial. And what will happen there is, you know, I'll get it. I'm the salesperson. I'll receive a copy of it. I'll review it. I'll sign it. Then Gil will get it uh, automatically after that. He'll review it. He'll sign it as a customer and it'll come back into workforce. But it'll go from lead to agreement sent to sold automatically for you. We'll also update the contract start date, the contract end date, and the installation date too. So, you know, it's all, it's all real. It's all happening in real time for you. Um, if you want to, you know, schedule, you know, 
Now, now, it, now it's the dispatcher's job. They go in, they say, hey, I'm going to dispatch Billy Rourke to this job. Install alarm system. Now you can add notes here too. This would be like one-on-one -on -one to the customer. And a note there, or I mean to your technician rather, and a note there might just be something you want hidden, right? You know, customer was really proud of this or customer was really upset, that, you know, customer recently got robbed or, you know, just information that would be good for your technician to have before they go out there. So that same thing, I go and route to the job, I'm at the job. Now this page changes again, based on the device you're on. And and now now I got to do this moment of truth thing right here too, where I'm going to uh, make sure that I have all the information. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I have all the information that I need to create the account. So I didn't have a verbal passcode in there. Uh, I don't have any emergency contacts in here. So let me get some of those added. I'm just going to add one of each. Now, uh, I'm going to show you a cool screen I was hoping would be done today. Uh, it was not, though, so I can show you a picture of it, but it will be done uh, and pushed to the real world uh, early next week. Uh, we ask for agencies. You don't need them for affiliated. They have ASAP, PSAP, so they will get and take care of the agencies for you. So we're going to look at affiliated. I'm going to put in an account number, seven. You're going to choose your template, right? So these are the templates that you have. You'll get them from affiliated. Uh, and then I'm going to do what is probably the hardest part for me is try to read this box. I think that's right. Let's see. So we'll verify it and we'll make sure it's a good IMEI number. It would also tell you if you accidentally have it registered somewhere else too. We'll select that this is going to go to affiliated. Uh, you don't need the account ID, username, and password. We're going to automatically populate those for you. Other information you can have, uh, you can set up defaults as well for this too. How do we get this customer? And this can be done in the office or, or on the job site. It doesn't matter to us. You know, you can do it wherever your company feels most comfortable doing it. You can also go in here and you can add on all of these other services or Hey, maybe you're a good salesperson. You added an upgrade in the field of lights, locks, and thermostats, right? So, you know, you add those on. And now when we create this account at alarm.com, it's all going to go through. Um, all right, here we go. Fingers, fingers crossed. It's always stressful to do it live. Account phone, oh, account phone number is invalid because I used all fives. That'll happen every time. Then we updated them both. All right again. So obviously, like alarm.com or affiliate, one of the two, didn't like that I put that in there. You know, they don't want to call this fake cell phone number. They don't want to call a fake number or something like that. So right now we're in alarm.com, we're at affiliated, we're going through it. And in a couple seconds, we should have successfully created the account. Right? So here you go. Here's all the information. We've created the account at Affiliated. We're going to show uh, place and service here in a second. The reason that we do that is we don't want you to accidentally trip the central station, right? We don't want you to accidentally dispatch anybody while you're testing it in. So we leave it as out of service. Um, you know, maybe what I want to do, hey, Gil, you know, I'm going to send you off a welcome letter, you know, right? So you're going to get that nice alarm.com welcome letter download the app, do this while I'm doing my work, whatever, you know, whatever it is, here's your username and temporary password. Uh, I just now, want, obviously, I just want to state uh, so that everyone knows I do actually see the account in our database. So can confirm real time. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. And, and uh, it, it was just this two gig edge panel that I, that I have in my, on my desk and uh, not an advertiser for them, uh, but it was just a panel that I have on my desk. So there's no zones or anything attached to it. But all that stuff is there. And if I want to place it in service, I'm all done. I'm good to go. I come over here. I say place it in service. And it'll, it'll pop up inside of uh, uh, Mass over there that it's been placed in service live, ready to go. So now if you accidentally hit that emergency EMS, you know, EMS is on their way. 
Um, oh, it's actually it's automatically in a 24 hour test for affiliated. So, you know, if it, it, it'll automatically fall off or I can just take it off now as I turn over the account to the customer. Hey, Mrs. Jones, listen, I'm out of here. Uh, you know, good luck. Here's your alarm system. Everything's all set. Uh, you'll get notified back at the office that this job is completed. If you want to send a certificate of installation, you can. This just uh, creates it and automatically sends it to the customer. Uh, we're adding in where you can uh, add the insurance company very soon, too. That's been a big request that we've gotten. So you'll see that pretty soon. And then my favorite part of owning an alarm company, I'm sure it's your favorite, too. RMR. So we can do RMR pretty much any way that you want. Oh, it looks like I spelt it wrong. Uh, I spelt it wrong here, but I got it right in your email and that's how it found you. Yes. Uh, now, you know, if you're using QuickBooks or something like that, like, you know, you, you might not have access to ProRate. So, you know, we're going to put in $45 a month. You can add your SKUs here too. You can itemize it as well. So you can have your your alarm monitoring, your uh, your communication partner, uh, extended service plan, or something like that. You can choose, do you want monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, annually? Again, totally up to you, however you run your business. Now, if you want this sent in advance, because this is going out once every six months, you can say, hey, uh, you know, 14 days in advance of that invoice, I want the customer to get a nice little letter from us. You control the narrative of the letter, um, totally up to you. Uh, you can email it. Uh, you can mail it. What that means is uh, you'll print stuff, stamp, and send it, or we can print stuff, stamp, and send it for you. Currently, the price is $1.39 an envelope. That's an envelope, color invoice, uh, stamps, uh, and a return uh, envelope, but return envelope is not stamped. And when I say you can email it, we'll email it. There's no charge for emailing. Emails just go out on whatever day you want. You don't have to choose a specific day. I know some softwares are like, you know, some softwares have, you know, uh, billing on this day, that day, or whatever it is. Now, if the customer's on auto draft, it'll automatically draft from the customer. But for this, you know, I'm going to put this in. Whoops. That was successfully added. I put it right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to charge them for the first 21 days, and then every month after that is going to be what's normal for us. The description, you'll put in whatever description or terms and conditions you might want to put. And if nothing, we're just going to put a nice little thank you note there. But what's going to happen here, what's going to happen here is I've already created my first invoice, and I've charged them right away. So you can see that right here. Another big difference for those of you that might be using QuickBooks or uh, an accounting software for using like memorized transactions. But well, we have your central station number, and this invoice is tied to your central station. So, what's you know, is it online and affiliated? Do I have RMR attached to it? Right. You can see that this is for November 9th through November 30th. The next one will be December 1 through December 31 at the normal price. And like I said, uh, a, a nice little thank you letter here. Um, I'll nor I'd normally say you know, hey, uh, you know, that's uh, that's my nickel tour. But I want to show you this really cool page. You said it's not it's not out yet, um, but this is going to be available via text or email. So if you collect and make a sale to a customer, you'll have a send emergency contact form. This will get texted or emailed to the customer, um, and they're they're you know once once it's in there, they're not able to look at you know their their own stuff again through this same uh, link. But like as you're gathering customer information, you know maybe your salesperson, your technician, your office, they're not doing it. So you can just send this off to the customer. Uh, obviously, this is just a, a, a mock-up. It looks much nicer than this in real life. But the customer is able to see, all right, well, we're about to get the alarm system installed. They're asking me for one, two, and three. You're always getting these, right? Because I can't even put it online without it, so you're not getting a rejection or anything like that. And the new deal overview has some check boxes on it. So um, uh, you can see, like, do you have emergency contact? Do you have passcodes? Do you have a central station account number assigned to it? Do you have A, B, C, D, and E, right? So really it's just a way for you to have all the information, but make that data entry as simple as possible. Um, so uh, I, I know I, I really only showed a little bit about what we do and we do a lot of things. Uh, so two other things I'll show you real quick. We recently released chat 
Um, this chat is a one-on-one, -on -one, or we're actually about to do one-to-many. Um, uh, you know, so you can see these here. Uh, I, I saw Mike's name here, so he might be on the call. I'm not sure if this is really, uh, you know, his cell phone number in here. But if, uh, if if you send these to your customer, this is a way for you just to chat back and forth with your customers. And your customers can also just chat in here with you. So all of your affiliated customers are automatically in here. All of your alarm.com, Alula, Residio, all those customers are already in here. So, you know, it just kind of makes it, you know, pretty easy for you to have that chat back and forth. There's no, there's no other stuff you need to do. Like I said, you know, we're, we're going to put, hey, you know, your technician, Kenny Coker from Wayne has arrived. You know, so this is, these are text to a customer, right? Automatic text to a customer. So it's right there. Oh, Ben Murray, right? It's uh, one of your salesmen, right? I think. Um, so that's yes, there. We also, yeah. He didn't know who I was. What a guy. Uh, we, we also have inventory. So this is truck by truck inventory. You can see your company wide, you can see truck by truck, and then you can even break it out to, well, this is our main warehouse and our main warehouse is, you know, 500, 5,000 square feet, whatever you have. Uh, this is just a rack or a shelf that we have in our garage, right? But you can have real track and real information here and you can even do sub warehouses too. So, you know, you don't want, you know, maybe you have to order, uh, you know, five thousand dollars in equipment. You you know, for a job next month. Well, you don't want people to see that it's available and come take it off your shelves. So you can create sub sub warehouses like a oh, big project, right? Or van one. And van one, when you look at it, is actually tied to a user, right? So you know, you can see it's tied to a user. You can see what they've got in there. You can do purchase orders, transfers, and all other stuff. You know, for it. But other other things too. You can see. Well, I've only probably isn't really accurate. I've got three pieces in there. The total uh, uh, cost on it is $3. So you can start seeing retail value, unrealized profit, and just some other stuff that, that makes sense for you to see as an alarm company. Um, and with that being said, that, that, that's my nickel tour for you know the one-on-one -on -one affiliated presentation. I'm happy to answer any questions that uh, you have or show you some things in here or you know, talk to you about it and, you know, we, we can go from there. Yeah, if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to use the Q&A button on the, the Zoom bar um, to go ahead and ask us anything. So while while we wait, we'll see if somebody comes up with it. The dispatch is just a a view of all of your technicians and where the, wherever they're supposed to be at that day. And if the technician logs in with theirs, they only see where they're at, you know, today. Then they can also see, all right, well, you know, show me my week at a time or my month at a time or you know whatever whatever they want to see. So that's there for them. Um, the calendar. This is just whatever's assigned to you. Uh, I'm in this global, so I can see everybody's, but. The calendar is whatever is assigned to you. Um, you know, and again, it's just you know a nice way to be able to see. All right, well, all right, I've got this scheduled for me this week, this scheduled for me next week, the week after, I've got you know sporadic jobs or you know whatever it happens to be. Steve, it looks like uh, we have a question um, from Ryan Gerard. Right, Are you adding Telguard? Hellguard doesn't really have much of an API. Um, I would love to add them. They just haven't, uh, they haven't provided us with, uh, you know, an API to use, to be honest. Yeah, we, we, we would have no problem adding them. We, you know, Telguard, I, I was a, I was a big user of Telguard uh, for a long time. Uh, lots of TG7 FSs out there, but uh, they, they currently don't have an API that we can use that would get us good data. Um, Gil, do you want to, you want to maybe just share that, uh, you know, your screen that you had? Oh, sure. With, uh, we our, can, with QR we leave, codes. We can leave this up for or just leave this up. Minutes. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, we have a question from Robert Mule. Uh, do you have a sandbox or demo site? So we can get you, you have to do a one-on-one -on -one presentation with us. And then after that, we just let you into the general sandbox. We don't have like a, here you go. You can play with this for a while kind of thing. 
Okay. Uh, from Heather Barney, are you already integrated with Checked? We have, uh, we, we don't have an integration with Checked. I'd love to know, uh, you know, what, what she would like to see on it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm wide open to that because I, I, I do know that the guys over at Check, they do have an API for us to use. I don't know what's available in it. Um, you know, so Heather, if you want to tell me your use cases, if you want to shoot me an email or something, um, you know, you, you can tell me like what the use case would be or how you would envision it. And it's probably something we'd be glad to do. We, we do, we do custom work in two different ways. So custom work where it will benefit the, single alarm company or central station, uh, you know, is billable, but, uh, but custom work like adding check, which would benefit the greater good of the workforce user experience, we would do at no cost. Uh, we just need to, you know, for that one, we would just need to find out what the, what the experience would be and what they were looking for. Okay, anybody else have anything additional they wanted to ask? Give them a minute. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, switch over to my uh, So if you're making a move to affiliated too, we 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 can have access to a lot of data. Um, so we we can help any way any way possible there too. We have a we we have a cool um, widget from that we do with alarm.com where uh, we can basically say, all right, well, you're you're going to move this to affiliated. So you click a button, we'll build the account at affiliated, move it at alarm.com, test it with affiliated, make sure that they got everything, including a uh, sensor test, and uh, cancel the old account and make the new account live. Um, we're 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 pretty uh, we're pretty much data masters when it comes to central station data. Oh, we have another question from Heather Barney. Do you have any fleet tracking? We do not. Uh, we do not do fleet tracking. Um, we we are uh, the the new map screen that we have will tell you the last place that a person um, checked in from. So their their little avatar will pop up on the map. Uh, but we don't do fleet tracking where we can give you current statuses of the of the vehicles or hard stops, you know, great acceleration, stuff like that. Um, we're looking at an API with a company called, um, now maybe I should say, because I don't know if we're actually going to do it with them. But if, if there's a fleet tracking company that, that you are looking for uh, in integration with, we're, we're happy to entertain them. Okay. Uh, Mike Toby asks, is there anything on the list to integrate with Compliance Engine? I'm not familiar with compliance engine. So I would need to I would need to find out what it is and see if it makes sense for us. So I'll I'll take that as a note. Okay. Compliance engine. All right. Got it. Okay. Uh yeah. Um I I will look and see if they have something for this. Uh, you know, we I I, I won't make any promises, but uh um yeah I'm, I'm i'm happy to look into it great uh well if there are no other questions uh once again just remind if uh anybody wants to reach out to affiliated uh you can reach out to our director of sales bob januario his number and email are on the screen and if you scan that qr code it will open up a new email on your email app uh, and then again for steve uh you know he did provide his uh, personal contact information earlier but uh, he recommended you schedule a demo. So uh, feel free to scan that QR code there if you want to schedule a demo from your phone. Very easy interface and takes two minutes. All right. Um, so with Perfect. that, thank you everyone for joining uh, for this webinar. We were really happy to have you. And Steve, thank you so much for that excellent walkthrough of your software. Very excited to be partner with you. All right. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, everybody. and. Uh... You know, I, I look forward to hopefully getting a couple uh, couple presentations and, and speaking to you. Yeah. And regarding any integrations that uh, you all want, um, don't hesitate to reach out to Steve 
And you could probably start an introduction with your with your preferred vendor uh, to get that conversation going. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you guys okay. so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. All right. Thanks, everybody.